when the news broke that the Supreme Court had overturned Roe, I had a multitude of feelings. I was devastated when I found out. And at the same time, I wasn't surprised. It was a little bit of a numbing feeling, you know, how you kind of feel like something is just kind of surreal. Okay, we're living this. We're living this terrible reality. This is it now. The first thing I thought was like, well, what's going to happen next? What does this mean? I can't imagine how scary it is right now to be pregnant and not want to be. I immediately started thinking about the people who had appointments that were worried about whether or not they would be able to make decisions for their bodies. Our experiences were hard before when Bro was still intact because even though abortion was legal in uh, many different states, it wasn't always accessible. And then comparing it to how it is now. It's an attack on, on everything as we know it. It's an attack on vulnerable communities. It was upsetting because it's like we didn't really know what to say sometimes, but we got right into, you know, planning and prep mode. The abortion ban may have put a hold on abortions in Texas, but it did not put a hold on my work and what I am willing to do in order to continue to help in any way that I can. I think that's where storytelling comes in. In a post row world, storytelling is even more important. Since Roe has fallen, now a lot of states ban abortion, um, then abortion must be wrong. And so that stigma is already in, ingrained in some people's heads and it makes people think that abortion is a, a bad thing. And so adding stories to it and explaining the situations that other people had to go through, it's a really personal touch on a very politicized topic. People need to be able to relate abortion to a face that they recognize. We need to normalize it. And I think talking about it takes away the stigma. Once they hear the stories of so many different storytellers, I think it is absolutely possible to change minds and change hearts. I am someone who is proud of my abortion. I have had multiple abortions. I feel like if you can just change the mind of like one person um, with storytelling, I feel like you've done something. Folks were devastated this summer, but we also realized that it's something that we have to fight for, not just for ourselves and our own access, but for future generations. There's so much more that could be given to people who need abortions other than what was granted by Roe. Reproductive justice to me means not just focusing on abortion, but the full spectrum of care, which means paid sick leave, which means uh, parental leave, which means doing something about the ridiculous and rising child care costs and health care. All of us are ready to continue the fight and to figure out how we can still help people now. We deserve the right to have abortions. We deserve the right to make decisions for our own bodies.